Hello all, welcome to part 16 of Extent Reports training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate logging highlighted text into the generated extent reports. Instead of logging the normal text into the generated extent reports, we can log highlighted text. We can highlight the text and then log into the generated extent report. I'm going to show that practically in this session. So let's get started. So how to log the highlighted text instead of a normal text into the generated extent reports. Okay. Let me show you practically. For that, we have to use the same thing again that is markup helper but uh, the method that we are going to use with markup helper will change here we are going to use this method known as create label inside that we have to pass two arguments one is uh, text that we want to highlight and uh, how we want to highlight which in which color we want to highlight that using extent color dot color uh, we can select any color here it can be green blue red whatever it is okay generally green okay yellow red color these are the general colors that we generally use for highlighting the text in the extent reports anyhow but let me show you practically guys okay let's quickly switch to this uh, extent uh, this eclipse id where we have this code already written which we are using from the previous sessions now first thing is i'll create a test case okay how to create the text uh, by using the object reference of the extent reports i'll create a test now i'll create some sample test first extend dot create test i'll give some sample test name let's say test one is a test name the return type of this create test is extend test e test i'll say e test one is equal to for the more than say create local it will automatically add the return type of the method now e test one dot log of status dot info if i give the text here it will be normal text guys it will not be highlighted okay In the, by the default way if you just provide the text here like if i provide the text here like uh what text uh, let's say test one started okay if i am giving this text in a normal way i am not highlighting it nowhere i am mentioning to highlight here using the markup helper or something so if i run this you will uh, you will see the report getting generated and uh, a test one will be created in the report and uh, this text will not be highlighted it will be displayed in the normal fashion as you can see now you see test one started text is displayed in normal fashion now so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to show you the difference like uh again the same thing e test one dot log of status dot info this time same text i want to highlight okay okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use markup helper dot create label if you remember the method create label markup helper dot create label then first argument will be the text what is the text that i want to highlight test one started okay if, if you use a normal text, how it will be there. And if you highlight the text, okay, using this create label method. And here, as a second argument, we have to give extend color dot color, okay? Here we have to write extend color dot any color you can pick. Uh, you can generally pick, uh, you see, these are the reports, right? For test automation, it's better to use green red and yellow kind of stuff so i'll go with green guys let's see how it looks okay so here there is a problem status dot info okay give that in a proper format yeah. then now run this you will see the difference test one started will be will be logged in a normal fashion after that it will be logged into the same test in the second line in a highlighted green color fashion okay so run this how the highlighted text will look into the We'll look in the generated extent report. We'll see in a while. Okay. I've already run the jet report got generated. You see test one here. Two logs are there in four logs. First log text is in a normal format where the second test log, the same text is in highlighted format. You see test one started because I mentioned green color here. It came green color. Okay. Fine. So hope guys, you understood uh, how to log the highlighted text into the generated extent report in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session. I'm going to cover another topic on extent reports. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.